What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Evil Bane and this is a game for your mobile devices such as your phone or your tablet. And I'm rocking some Food Realm apparel here. If you'd like to get some yourself, there is a link in the description below. All right, so this is basically going to be a rundown of a good game and why it is basically coming to an end probably real soon. All right, so this is called Evil Bane. It's a game made by Netmarble, which is, a, if you're familiar with mobile games, you know that Netmarble also makes the Juggernaut game Lineage 2 uh, right now. So this is like the first stepping stone for that company. They made this game and it was a decent success, but once they came out with Lineage 2, it's like, this game is on the sidelines now it's the one that isn't getting all the player attention it's not getting all the media attention people are making tons and tons of videos and live streams and stuff about lineage 2 mostly sponsored but they're pushing lineage 2 hugely and what ends up happening is evil bane gets left on the sidelines and is pretty much a dead game now the last time it's gotten an update was like September of last year and they did a level cap increase and stuff like that and they only increased the level cap to 69 they didn't even go all the way to 70 uh, so otherwise the game was abandoned mid midstream so to say and uh, one of the things that we know about the game is that there was a, there's a, a predecessor to it basically that is the same game and it, it's a game called Raven in Korea uh raven is basically evil bane but the korean version that was released before this one was and it's about a year uh before evil bane so otherwise everything that happened in raven all the other servers in the world knew that you know what happened in raven was coming to evil bane so you can basically see an update that happened in raven and go all right basically one year from now that's what we're going to get in the game here uh, so all the other servers in the world, I mean, there was uh, lots of Asian servers, there was Brazilian servers, there was North American servers, European ones, all kinds of them. And uh, we all basically was waiting for what happened in Raven to transfer into Evil Bane. Uh, as you can see, if you're familiar with Lineage 2 at all, you'll see that the character models are pretty much exactly like Lineage 2 right now. Um, it seems like they used a lot of the same resources and brought it over to Lineage 2. Maybe that's just the style that the company likes. I'm not real sure, but let's go ahead and give an overview of this game and what made it so good. All right, so there's lots of things to go over here, such as if you see the, there's lots of different weapons and stuff. There's bows, there's maces, there's swords, swords and shields, uh, all kinds of different things that you can get with your character and mind you my character was like if not the best character at one time it was at the top you know one of the best characters because i play hardcore man so you can see all my weapons and stuff that i have are all like top tier uh i've got ancient weapons here that you know i i kind of quit upgrading a lot of my stuff because as the game wasn't getting updated and was kind of dying away it became like a maintenance thing rather than uh pursuing uh upgrading my character um they they haven't even released like the ancient versions of the 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 cloaks and stuff like that or the wings so that's kind of unfortunate that a lot of players don't get to get a lot of the things that's already out in raven even though the technology is basically there all the programming has been done it just needs to be translated and brought over to uh the other servers now let's see let's go to the next thing here we got runes which uh runes you can put on your character and they'll have all kinds of different effects like this increases my crit rate um my attack speed stuff like that uh really cool system uh that was one of the later things that they put into the game before they quit updating it all together there's like a what they call a crafting system but it's not really crafting it's it's kind of like just blessing your stuff um, I don't know why they call it crafting. I'm wondering if that's just not a, a translation error. 
there is lots of achievements that you can get there's shops there's costumes that you can get uh now mind you look at that korean text up there and then it translates that's funny all right so there's lots of different costumes that they were coming out with you knew like come halloween time it was you were going to see pretty much all kinds of new costumes come out like there was the santa claus one that i have on and that says something right there if i'm like one of the top players and i haven't even changed off my santa costume it's because i'm not playing much anymore um then you have like the vampire ones you have a lot of uh you know another christmas one here vampire hunter you have like the rose guard captain uh more oriental themed right here with the moon warrior uh, and then you have the other the other uh characters that you can pick here you see that you have this one's called luke this one is called kara and she has a lot of different costumes of course it's uh, a little more so to say sexy themed because it's a it's a oriental type of game you know korean game they like to have all the stuff really skimpy on the girls uh, then we had the brutish character here, which is the Vango. This was the very first character that I ever played and uh, One that I'm still playing today. I kind of like the the last costume that they have right there Which is like Guan Yu off of Dynasty Warriors uh, Then they have their latest character that they came out with called Lilith now this is something that's really confusing they came out with this character and all that and then all of a sudden nothing was released for this character since uh her storyline and all that isn't released uh, there's like an adventure mode in the game that you can do storylines and each character has their own storyline and she does not have a storyline right now they have not released an adventure for her and it looks like they're never going to um so that's really unfortunate for the character the people that actually made that character um let's go ahead into the battle system here we have guild battles and i want to really touch on this guild battle system because it's something that took a lot of strategy it actually encompassed a lot of the gameplay that i did on this game because guild battles was uh something that was very very ego driven because there wasn't really a very good 1v1 system on this game uh the guild battles were more of who all can put together a team that can all work together and all do their guild battles uh religiously in order to do your guild battles uh the energy meter on it would fill up to where you could do five guild battles well the key was that the moment that you hit oh, sorry about that guys but the moment that you hit the number five on the guild battles, that was the time that you were starting to lose because you did it wasn't recovering anymore, the, the energy bar. So you were losing guild battles that you could get in in the time frame before reset happened. And so what we did is we would uh, put together three, team, three teams of three, and so otherwise nine characters that were our strongest characters, and put them in guild battles and you had to have it in certain formations certain builds uh, all kinds of things went into making your guild uh be able to compete and as you can see like in the the nine p uh, nine person uh roster i had two characters in the roster in the number one north american guild that's how hardcore i was playing i had two of the top characters and uh my character that i'm on right now which is my loot character this one was like the ultimate tough dude at one time uh if we look at uh let's see stats here you'll see that there's a lot of stats that make up your character uh this damage taken right here i had it at like 83 at one time uh it was a completely different build than what i'm on right now but nobody in the entire game had 83 d uh, damage taken uh, reduction basically uh, that meant that whenever people hit me i didn't take much damage at all and in guild battles it was like computer versus computer your your characters ran out and fought the other team and you didn't really control it you could give them buffs and stuff but it was kind of like you know computer versus computer so if you had a super tanky character run out first 
the other team would attack that character and then the dps in the back lines with bows or whatever would shoot the other team and absolutely decimate them and my character was like the best whenever it came to tanking damage uh everybody dreaded fighting our guild because they knew my guy would just sit there and eat all the damage and wouldn't die and that was so frustrating the other guilds uh i was a big reason why our guys like maintained the number one position because they could use me for that reason and uh i was a huge asset um, of course, you know, if you have a super dedicated guild with lots of good players, you know, one character isn't going to make or break them, but there's no doubting that I was, I was very big asset to the guild. Um, and they tell me that to this day, they're like, man, we missed that build. Holy smoke. But they've done updates to the game that made it to where like they did a whole reboot of the game, what they called where they changed how all the stats worked, how much you could get in each stat, they limited it, and all of a sudden you couldn't get much damage taken, and it, even the damage taken that you took, it was like, it was like it didn't even exist. I mean, they made the, the stat almost go away altogether. So, yeah, I was, I was near the top. Those were the glory days of the game. All right, so let's see what else we got. We have the arena system. All right, so, uh, if you've seen on the previous uh, screen, I said that uh, we were like the number one North American guild. Well, on there we were ranked number 14 and sometimes we get up to five now. Why is that? Well, whenever they did the big reboot of the game, they also combined all the servers except for the Korean one. Um, the Korean one is still on the game that is like a year ahead of this one. So otherwise everything that happens on that game it's like a year later it came to evil bane uh but all the other servers all the asian servers brazil uh european servers all of them they all got combined into one and that made it to where the competition got a lot steeper well that isn't exactly why we lost the number one spot why even the top American guild is not even in top 10 right at this set, uh, this very moment. It's because back whenever uh, we were all on the North American server, we had, so to say, standards. Otherwise, like whenever it came to like doing the arena system, let's go ahead and do an arena battle. Let's show you guys exactly how this is done. All right, so you can control your character or else you can let it manually run. Um, if you control it, you have a lot better chance of winning, but a lot of people made their character good enough where they can fight and, you know, could auto run it. So let's see if I beat this character. Uh-oh, looking bad on me. Okay. Oh, I died. Oh, she shot the dragon head at me. But as you can see, you can have your character auto run and it makes it to where if you set up like a macro system to where it goes down here and clicks okay it clicks on doing the next battle and so on and so forth you could basically bot your way into the arena and the arena system actually gave out like arena points that you used in order to buy reroll scrolls which you use to reroll the stats on your gear which in any game whenever you can reroll something on your gear or runes or something like that it's usually very very important and it's no different in this game rerolling your stats on your gear is super important so you can get the stats you want get them a certain level that you want like get a stat so high or whatever uh, whenever it comes to RNG the randomness can be pretty brutal so you you got to get the reroll scrolls well we did the reroll scrolls in a certain way well the arena system in a certain way to where like the top american player might have like 50,000 points at the end of um at the end of the season which was a week long and me i no lifed it one time and i got up to like 35,000. i mean i was basically on the phone the entire time for a week straight hours on hours doing that arena grind never losing kind of thing and man i only hit 35,000. and i have to think how could you get above 35,000 if i was on my phone the entire time almost doing the arena grinding except for to eat or something like that or to sleep well 
naturally it, people must be running the game whenever they're sleeping they must be botting it so whenever characters would go into like the 50,000 like range of doing arena we knew they were botting the game and we would name and shame them we would just ridicule these people we would make memes i mean in uh we have like line chats where uh everybody a lot of a lot of the top players in evil bane would go to line uh, the line app on their phones and chat on there and we would post memes of certain people that we knew were botting and we would name and shame them and guilds would kick them out of the guild and all that stuff and we had certain it, it was like you didn't want everybody making fun of your guild like as the cheaters kind of thing well whenever they did the reboot and they combined all the servers we found out real fast that uh the guilds not in north america did not care about our naming and shaming they couldn't even understand what we were saying so they bought it like crazy oh my gosh they bought it like crazy um what is it uh let me see here uh it's thursday right now so there's still three or four more days uh, three more days of arena to go look at this this guy has seventy-seven thousand arena points all right three more days to go and like i said in north america the top guy might hit fifty thousand, and we knew he was a botter Seventy-seven thousand with three more days to go the people in that was from the other servers they did not care about cheating and they cheated like crazy and so otherwise all the top guilds all of a sudden was all botting and then uh, in the north american guilds were going we don't bot what's but how are we going to compete? Well, should we name and shame these people? They don't care. I mean, all they know is they're the number one guild or number two or three or whatever, and we were number 14 or something. That's all they cared about. So cheating became very, very uh, prevalent in the game. And the company, Netmarble, didn't do anything about them. They, uh, I mean, as far as they were concerned, these top players were probably spending a lot of money on the game too. And then they would cheat. So if they're that hardcore about it, they wasn't going to ban the people that's, you know, bring a lot of money to the game, I guess. So all of a sudden, we were the juggernauts at the top, the number one guild, the one that was dominating everybody. As soon as the reboot happened and they combined servers, we, you know, we might make it up to top five right now. But we just can't compete with people that are botting in the arena 24 7. And that's a big problem in a lot of games right now. But um with this game not getting updated anymore and not uh getting any attention whatsoever obviously they're they're still not going to do anything about the botting there's not going to be anything done about the cheating um so otherwise what what incentive is it to play in a game whenever you were the number one player or you know at least guild and you did it in a legit way without cheating the game and now there's no way you can hope to achieve that. You can't achieve that top rank without cheating the game. And that makes you not want to even play it. But then they add that they don't update the game at all. So now you really don't want to play it. Uh, you're, you're basically playing a game and trying to progress in a game that's going to be shut down probably pretty soon. I mean, Lineage 2 is getting all the development, is getting all the attention, getting all the the you know sponsoring the youtubers and live streamers and all that and evil bane's getting nothing nothing at all it made me think of whenever ea bought uh dark age of camelot dark age camelot was doing really good had 250,000 subscribers to the game which was like really really good in that day and age before world of warcraft and then uh ea bought them and they said we're going to pour all of our resources into the next game which was warhammer, warhammer online and dark age of camelot got zero advertisement zero attention and for the most part is a dead game you know it's still running but it's a dead game and that's what's happening to evil bane now a game that i played absolutely hardcore was at the at one point probably the top player in the game uh still in the best north american guild i can go to a guild that doesn't speak english and compete but what's the point in that whenever you have to cheat your way to the top <sighs> it's disappointing because i mean not only that but 
you know, I played it so hardcore that whenever they did the reboot, in order to uh, do your guild battles and stuff, you have to do uh, your guild battles right at reset every week. And they made it to where reset is like 1 a.m. for uh, America. So, you know, it, it's always like around that time. It's 1, 1 a.m. Central Time for me. So everybody has to set their alarms and wake up at 1 a.m. even if they have to get up for work at 6 or whatever. So that's that's what it takes to be hardcore and we were doing it and making all those sacrifices and now the game's going to die. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, segment on a dying game, but a game that was very, very fun for me. Uh, as usual, my name is Grim and I'll see you next time.